All right there, everybody. Uh, I'm, trying out, I'm trying out a different camera angle today. I hope you like it. It's uh, professional, professional quality. I just wanted to get the paw on camera, really. Um, a lot of time I've got to like balance the clip on the table and it goes off camera and you know everyone likes to see the paw don't they so this is how I'm going to do the video I said I'm not I'm going to lift the camera up in a bit but um yeah anyway I got this from uh Tesco today I bought it mainly because it's got skeletons on there dancing around I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance recently Matt kind of reminded me I mean Matt reminded me that the the game existed. I was like, oh yeah, I used to like that game. So I started playing it again and got kind of obsessed with it. So um, yeah, this is a New England IPA, but it's from the London Beer Factory. And also the INAPA, doesn't that stand for Indian? So it's New England Indian IPA, no, New England Indian Pale Ale from the London Beer Factory. Doesn't make no sense. Um, but you know, cool purple can, skeletons, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope it tastes good, guys. Um, hazy New England IPA brewed with Azaka, Citra, and Simcoe hops. Dance juice in, inspired by a story that took place five hundred years ago when, when Frau Trophia took to the streets one hot July day and just started dancing. So it's made in London. How is it? I don't know what a New England IPA is really. And um, I don't know. And also look at the look at the can. I thought it was definitely American because it had a weird bottle thing. Oh fuck! Bottle can opening thing going on. So I don't even know what this is. Is it? Oh, it's like. It's like back in the old days when the cans were really wasteful and they used to end up with one of these things you have to throw away. Why have they gone to, why have they gone to this? Maybe maybe it affects the pour or something because we've got see, got like a whole open Hold on. Hold on god, I gotta get gotta get in frame here so we can see it properly. You see that? Oh smells delicious though. And um yeah, I was looking at I'll, I'll tell the story when I got the camera back in position. I'll tell the exciting story of my uh, perusal of the my perusal of the uh, Tesco shelves. So, right, okay. So we can do the pour. We've got got it all on camera. I don't know. I don't even know how I'm going to pour from this weird open can here. It's uh, okay. There we go. It's a bit. I should have tilted the tilted it really. Oh, it smells fruity, and this. I actually went for this one because it didn't sound all like. Oh, it's, it, oh, it smells like mangoes. This could be a mango IPA. Hmm. So yeah, I went for this just because it sounded a bit less like. I know the, the most recently I've been doing quite a lot of um, beer reviews on um, like funny flavored ones like. I don't know, what was it, like milkshake flavours and things like that. And um, yeah, coffee, latte, I can't remember. They've all got fancy names and there was loads of them on the shelves and uh, I was looking through them and I was like, ah, you know what it is? I was, there was one I was looking at, I was like, oh, oh that sounds good. It was like, um, what was it called? Mango Smoothie IPA. I was like, oh, Mango Smoothie IPA. I like a Mango IPA, it's nice. And I thought, well, you know what I'd really want is a Mango Smoothie. And there was another one, it was um, Passion Fruit Milkshake. I was like, oh, that sounds delicious. I want a Passion Fruit Milkshake. I don't want a Passion Fruit Milkshake flavored beer. I want a Passion Fruit Milkshake. <laughs> and there was one, it was like, Strawberry Chocolate Donut. Mmm. Yeah, that's what I want, a strawberry chocolate donut, not a, not a beer that tastes like that. So I went for a kind of fairly normal sounding one, a New England IPA. And also the percentage, they were all like three quid a can, these new ones. 
and this one was 7.5 this looked like the strongest one there and also it just sounded a bit more normal i've got nothing against these fancy weird flavored beers it's just like i was looking at them and i was just thinking there's too many of them now I feel like this is the thing with beer trends, you get them and then there's loads of them out and then it just gets oversaturated and it gets like, it. what what was a novelty at one point then becomes a, a bit boring. It's kind of getting a bit like that with the sours as well now, there's too many of them. So this smells absolutely amazing actually, it smells like a mango, a mango smoothie or whatever the hell that other one was. Ah, oh, it is. I'm sure it hasn't got any like mangoes in there. It just smells like it. Um, yeah. Ingredients: bar, malted barley, water, malted wheat, oat, hops, yeast. Nothing. It's just it's just the hop smell. That it smells just like a mango, fresh, a fresh, a fresh ripe mango. Wow. And it's really um smooth it's got it's almost like those beers where they put the lactose in to make them a bit thicker a bit of a milky type of texture it's like that i mean that must be like the cloudiness of it you see it's like a cloudy colored thing but it's it's got that real thick mouthfeel to it as well hmm. yeah very mangoey to smell, but flavours is more sort of um, pineapple. What it reminds me of is sometimes we make these like fish tacos. We we make uh, like me and Alex make it together sometimes, and it's like this. Uh, we make this pineapple salsa where you like chop up the pineapple and then you fry it a bit and you you put like salt and stuff on it. And it's like a savoury pineapple flavour. It's kind of that. It's kind of a bit... It's not quite... This beer it tastes a bit like that or reminds me of it. It's not quite um, sweet enough to be like a, a sweet, fruity, pineapple-y type of flavour. It's more sort of... It's got that sort of tangy, savoury flavour to it, but with a, with a pineapple hint. So it's... I don't know. It's quite an interesting taste. Nice. I, don't, I think that description would probably put a lot of people off and I don't want you to. It's just... You know when I oh, like oh, I, like when I do these reviews, I feel like I overanalyze the flavors and I put all these like terms in there like savory and stuff. And I I think like most people if they just bought the beer and start drinking it and just go, oh, it's nice. And not you know it's, it's when you do the reviews, you start like really analyzing every little flavor molecule and it's like I don't know. Yeah, there is a pineapple taste, and um, yeah, it's like I don't know. I don't know what it is with beer. I've tried to describe this before. It's like it's kind of like I want to describe it as salty, but it's not salty. It's like uh, it's like something there, it, like hits your tongue and it kind of makes your tongue pucker. It's probably like the where the hops work, and it's almost like it's hitting the same place in your tongue where that recognises salt flavours or something. I don't know, it's hard to describe it. Like, it's not salty, but it tastes kind of savoury. And I don't really know what that flavour is. It's like a it's like a flavour we don't have a word for. But I think if you've had a lot of beers, you might know what, it mean, what I mean by that. It's like, it's not sweet. It's pineapple taste, but it's not sweet. And it's, it's not salty. It's like a... I don't know. <laughs> Good review. I don't know. Yeah, the can, the can really sold me on it. And it's a, this beer is really nice. It's really, um, really Moorish. I love the, I love the artwork there. I love like the purple colour as well. It's really Halloweeny. I think this is a good Halloween beer. This good Halloween party. I'll get everyone in the mood. Dancing juice. I like the name as well. Dance or oh, dance juice. Yeah. I like the I like the imagery that conjures up nice strong beer with a dancing skeletons on there. I approve of this beer, and also I I, I kind of like this. I don't know what's going on there. I've never seen that before on a can in my life. Is that just a gimmick, or is that to does that affect the pour? I don't know. I don't know. 
answers in the comments or theories in the comments maybe yeah yeah there is a sweetness in there I think it's just overridden by the bitterness um, there's like different types of sweetness in beers and I think sometimes I find beers that are too sickly it's like a sugary sweetness um, whereas with this uh, I don't know what it is it's like that Mm. Oh, fuck knows. Yeah. So to describe it in great detail, in far too much detail, as it hits the front of your tongue. That's where you get that sort of salty flavour that I can't quite describe. As it washes over through your mouth, hits the back of your tongue. You get those pineapple tastes, fruity pineapple tastes, that, that thick mouthfeel, that, that sort of juicy taste erupts as it hits the back of your mouth, the back of your tongue. And so you get this sensation of it just sort of gliding through your, through your gob and changing flavour as it does so. And uh, yeah, very pleasant, very pleasant drink. Mm -mm -mm. I would I would definitely get one of these again. They were, it was three pound a can though, which I mean for a seven point five percent beer, with like the way they tax beer, like high percentage beers now, it's not that bad. But I don't know. I can't really justify spending three three quid on a can of beer. Like if I could get like a four pack of this, say they had a four pack for six quid, something like that, or like ah yeah. Something like that, one fifty a can, that would be all right, I think. But three quid for one can, you kind of feel like you're sort of breaking the bank just buying beer. And uh, it's just more tempting to buy like a, a crate of something a lot of the time. You know, you can get you can get a big box of, of um, Punk IPA or something like that for not a whole lot of money. I can't remember how much it was, but you know, when you work out the costs, and you're getting like a good, a good, well-made beer, and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is um, like I just don't know if you can always justify the cost of beers when it's three pound a can. Seems expensive to me. That's like buying a pint in a in a bar sort of price, isn't it? It's kind of it's strange to think that you would buy spend that on a drink to drink at home. To me, it is anyway. Why the flavours just keep changing with this beer? I'm getting like a sort of... Hmm. I'm getting like an oaky taste. You know what those beers that are made in like... Um, like whiskey barrels and things. I can't remember which ones they're called. But you get a kind of wooden whiskey-ish taste to them. I'm getting that sort of flavour now. It's like it's that flavour is kind of built up. As I'm drinking it. Interesting. So how much is left? Well, I might just enjoy this on my own because a lot of time, like I do, I like to try these beers and do drink the whole can on a review. But sometimes, if I'm really enjoying it, I like to just pour the rest and go and enjoy it at my leisure. So I think I might do that just because it's really nice. I I I recommend this one. It's not your crazy mango smoothie, chocolate latte, blah, blah, blah beer. But it's got all those flavours in there. It packs a real punch of taste and the flavours kind of keep you interested. You know what I mean? A lot of, Some beers, I think I've complained about this with, with Hobgoblin before. You just taste it at the beginning, you're like, oh, my God, what a flavour sensation. And then... But halfway through, you kind of like, it's almost like you get bored of the flavours. I found that anyway. I don't know if that's with everyone. Um, so this seemed to be like constantly changing tastes or slightly altering, which they do because, you know, they, the way it sort of coats your mouth and affects your taste buds. Um, 
I always wonder how much of that is engineered and how much of that is accidental. Whether did they just accidentally come up with a good concoction and like, wow, that's good, let's sell that. Or do they like know that that's what they're doing when they put the flavours in there? I never quite know. It'd be fascinating to learn. So yeah, I'm going to pour the rest of this out and I'm going to go and just watch some Ross's Game Dungeon or something. Enjoy enjoy a little leisure time with the rest of my beer. Not a whole lot, but... Yes, the smell is incredible. Mm, really nice. Okay, yeah, recommended. Dance juice. Um, go out and get yourself some if you like this kind of thing. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review.